Hey, good really to see good you. to see you. Yeah, it's nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Yeah, uh, my name is uh, Nicholas Peterson. I run Less Is. It's just, I'm a one man shop and I design and develop websites um, and logos and branding and communication strategies for all kinds of businesses, nonprofits, individuals that need a website and a cool logo. Um, so, how often are you working in the coffee shop? Oh, probably uh, uh, several days a week, about half the day. I, I like to change it up and you know, sometimes work at home, sometimes work at the office. The, the, the autonomy of working for yourself, but the opportunity to, to team up with different people and different types of projects that vary uh, from one dis industry to another. It just being totally different from one project to the next, and that can be a lot of fun. I care about the types of applications that I have in my workflow. I want them to look good, but I also want them to be easy to use and bottom line is save me some time. And so local has been, been helping keep every site in one place, be easy to access everything, not have a lot of technical terminology that I don't understand or don't really want to deal with, and, um, and really just saving me time and getting the, the site started initially. Um, I think the biggest thing for, for helping my workflow is the time that it's saving, doing things that I don't want to do. I would just spend just uh, embarrassingly long just trying to get a site set up so that I could start working on it. And that's a valuable time. So just the time saved on things that I don't want to do has been, been the most helpful thing. And it was, it was one of the biggest draws to Flywheel and it's definitely been the thing that has kept me there. The hardest part of explaining hosting to a client is being able to hand it off because at the end of the day, sometimes you want them to have their own account and for them to pay for it and, and you not to have to worry about it. So not having to hand usernames and passwords back and forth is really helpful. Off the line though, people are so used to doing it the other way, it still is really... <laughs> they're, so, they're like, don't I have to give you a username and password? Like, no, 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 you don't understand. Just follow the instructions. <laughs> don't put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> so it's interesting because when the company was really small, like three people, like, I knew exactly who the other person was that was emailing me back, and 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 it was very friendly. And the, they, uh, as they've grown, they've kept that friendly tone, which I think is essential. And and so, just that uh, feeling like you've got a buddy on the other side of the email rather than a robot is really important. Uh, I think the aesthetic, um, the way that Flywheel feels, it feels designed because it was put together by designers and and people that really care about how things look and the experience of it. That's the thing that I probably care about the most is because the, the, that leads into the tone. The tone is very friendly. Um, that leads into the UI. It's very easy to find things and navigate, but the overall experience is probably the thing that, that keeps me the most because when I log into Flywheel, I like how it looks. Crushed it, way to go. Oh yeah. Thank you so much, let's hug it out. All right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs>